Hey everybody, this is Zach Warren here at Phillips RV, Bradley, Illinois, and behind me, 2020 Gulfstream Vintage Cruiser 23 RSS in the red color. Let's talk about the outside here. So we do have our power tongue drag, great convenience feature. This is really uh, ease of access to getting everything on and off of the hitch. You don't have to be cranking. Now, I say this in every video I make, 20 pound propane tanks, huge fan. Here's why, three o'clock in the morning, furnace goes out because the propane's gone. You're freezing, it's a lot easier to take a 20 pound propane tank and go to a Walmart or 24 hour gas station and exchange that than to try to find something at three o'clock in the morning to refill your propane. We're gonna have that nice chrome diamond plating right here, protect that front of the camper from those uh, rocks and uh, debris hitting it while you're going down the road. We have a large storage compartment right here. You can see right in here, if my camera guy wants to get in, we're actually finishing everything through with the flooring that's in the camper. Then you do have your removable power cord right here. Great thing about removable power cord, something down the line happens to your power cord. This is easy as just buying a new one and plugging it back in. A little bit easier than replace, a lot of it easier to replace than having one stored, but there's pros and cons to each one. Now this is a slam latch door, closes right there. Now moving down, you can see the red graphics running down. This is gonna be carried throughout the camper. Got that nice vintage logo up there. Now on this one, we are gonna have our black tank flush. This is great for making sure there's no stuck on waste in the black tank. Don't wanna get those nodes with stuff stuck on them. They're not gonna read right. You're gonna be reading half a tank when you're empty if that happens. Right there is for your cord. Now this is the biggest uh, vintage cruiser they make. This one does have a slide, so this does have the slide right here. You're gonna have your cable and antenna in, or cable and satellite, excuse me. And then you're gonna have your spray port for your outdoor shower. Now coming around here, you're gonna notice on the back we do not have a spare tire, but fear not. We don't put the spare tire on the back on these, they're underneath the bed, so yes, you do have a spare tire with these. Now, coming around this side, we do have the electric awning. This is push button. It will pitch either side for rain to run off, and you can change angle to keep the sun out of your eyes. Now, we're gonna have the outside speakers up here. And you see we have a little thing here with cable antenna. This is an actual out. So it's gonna come out to right here. This is a TV mount. Mount your TV on the outside. You're gonna see this a couple other places. We'll explain how that works. Again, following this red graphic all the way down, to our solar panel. We are solar ready out here, so all you boondockers, you dry campers, you can plug in a solar uh, coupler here, a solar panel, excuse me, and actually have your solar trickle charging your battery because you don't have electricity. Now in our next video, we're gonna go over Gulfstream and const uh, some construction features on this, and we'll see you in the next video.